welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. De La Hoya wants to sign Tank Davis to a three-fight deal just to get Ryan Garcia. Look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And according to TMZ and Talk Sport with Michael Benson, Oscar De La Hoya on Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia, he states, and I quote, Tank Davis, I heard that he's leaving Mayweather, so hey, give me a call and we'll make that fight happen next. I wouldn't mind making a three-fight deal with him just to make that fight happen. End quote. Now, the interesting thing is it's pretty obvious and clear why Oscar De La Hoya would love to sign Tank Davis to a three-fight deal if he's making that Ryan Garcia fight happen. It's very obviously and clear. It's because he's cashing out at that point. I mean, think about it like this. He's seen the performance that Ryan Garcia just had. This guy had no jab, poor defense. He was predictable. He was unable to cut off the ring, and he was easily fatigued. Yes, some of that had to do with being on a long layoff, but not having a jab has nothing to do with the layoff. Having poor defense has nothing to do with the layoff. Being predictable in your moves has nothing to do with the layoff. And you know, you got to think about those things like that. It's obvious Oscar De La Hoya is looking for the biggest cash grab he can get if he's to risk Ryan Garcia in his next fight. But why would Tank Davis be a dumbass and sign with a guy like Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, think about it like this. Oscar De La Hoya has already proven that he'd protect Ryan Garcia. So you would leave Mayweather, the same guy who's protecting you, for another guy who's going to protect you the same way? Wouldn't the point of leaving be so you can spread your wings and take big fights, big challenges, and advance your career? I mean, Oscar De La Hoya's clearly shown that he'd protect Jaime Munguia. So I don't understand why he would leave him for him when you would get the same protection from either promoter make it make sense men lie women lie but the facts don't lie